As we end the show, let's talk science. NASA's spacecraft Juno is set to make its very first close encounter with the most volcanic place in the solar system. The Juno spacecraft has been orbiting Jupiter since 2016, but it is the first time that it will fly by Jupiter's moon Io at such a close distance. And this is just the beginning. Take a look. Jupiter's moon Io is the most volcanically active world in our solar system. What does that mean? Just as the name suggests, it is home to hundreds of volcanoes. Some of these volcanoes can send fountains of lava dozens of miles high. In July, NASA's spacecraft Juno captured a glowing infrared view of the I.O. This image was taken from a distance of 50,000 miles. The brightest spots correspond to the hottest temperatures on I.O. Juno is set to make nine close flybys of I.O. in one and a half years. Scientists will use the observations to learn more about I.O.'s network of volcanoes. More importantly, they want to understand how its eruptions interact with Jupiter. The I.O., however, is caught in a tug of war. Jupiter's massive gravity pulls the I.O. towards itself. But its two other moons, Europa and Ganymede, counter that pull. These forces cause Io's surface to bulge up and down as much as 100 meters. Juno's mission was to uncover more details about the giant planet. But since last year, it's been passing by Jupiter's moons. This extended part of the mission is expected to last till the end of 2025. Juno's sensors were initially designed to study Jupiter, but they surprisingly performed a double duty of observing Jupiter's moons. Scientists say that with each close encounter, they've obtained a wealth of new information. The spacecraft flew by two other moons of Jupiter, which are of most interest for scientists. It passed Europa earlier this year and Ganymede in 2021. Juno managed to look beneath the icy crust of both the moons. It also gathered data about Europa's interior, where a salty ocean is thought to exist. This moon intrigues astrobiologists because of its potential for having a habitable zone. The data and images captured by Juno could help inform two separate missions in the next two years. This includes the European Space Agency's Jupiter Icy Moons Explorer and NASA's Europa Clipper mission. Jupiter's atmosphere is dominated by hundreds of cyclones and many cluster at the planet's poles. But the planet cannot be explored in isolation. Its 80 moons, out of which 57 have been officially named, are thought to influence it significantly. Beyond World is One is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news updates on the move.